Today's daily dose of math is a geometry problem. We have a trapezoid ABCD with the coordinates of the vertices given. We have points E and F shown and a segment joining them, and we're told E and F are midpoints. We want to know how long is segment EF, and I'm saying no midpoint formula, no ratio formula. This is because when you make up a geometry problem, often there are many, many different correct ways of answering it. But I, as the teacher, am trying to manipulate my students into practicing something that I want to make sure they know. So, even though I've made these rules about no midpoint, no ratio formula, there are other ways of answering it besides the way that I'm going to show you. My answer is here. I start with the distance formula. And I say distance formula, I'm justifying the math that I'm about to do by saying which formula I'm going to use. If a student doesn't write the phrase distance formula, but they have written this distance formula with none of the values filled in, I also accept that as justification. The distance formula is being used twice here for the length of AB and the length of CD. And the length of AB is proven to be 6 units, the length of CD is 14 units. Then I'm adding those two lengths together and dividing by 2 and determining that the length of segment EF is 10 units. How am I doing that? I'm using principle 16. Principle 16 says that in a trapezoid, the segment connecting the midpoints of the two non-parallel sides is parallel to the two bases and is half the length of the sum of those two bases. And then I justify by saying principle 16. Now this is principle 16 in the course I'm teaching, Math 4273. You may be learning this bit of geometry in a different course from a different curriculum. You may have a list of theorems and principles, but your Principle 16 may not be the one that I just described about the trapezoid. The student in the exam that I'm preparing students for with this video has a list of principles and theorems attached to the exam, and they are allowed to say 16 instead of having to write out that whole long sentence that I said. Use principles and theorems as they are defined in your course. If you're doing Math 4273 in my class, you're safe to say Principle 16 right here. So this is actually a very simple little bit of math to find the length of segment EF. And that's the value of using these theorems and principles. They actually provide us with a lot of fast ways through problems. Another thing that I want to point out is a lot of people would have been able to figure out the length of AB and the length of CD without having to use the distance formula because of the coordinates that I gave, it would be a fast little calculation. But the thing is that if you're given a trapezoid with coordinates that are more complicated like this than this, perhaps including decimals, fractions, perhaps the bases are not horizontal lines, this will still work. And that is the value of being able to solve a problem in this way. That is today's daily dose of math. Please like, subscribe, and share.